and basically just started trying to get pregnant. Um, and very quickly, at least, we sort of convinced ourselves that there was some type of issue. Um, and so from there, we sort of embarked on two years, essentially, of a variety of different fertility treatments. Three or four months into the pregnancy, I had been asked by Julie, my wife, on several different occasions to reach out to her friend's husbands or, you know, some of my friends that, you know, I just didn't know were going through something similar. And she, you know, asked me to reach out to them. So I went to lunch with a few of them, had a few phone calls, and eventually um, I sort of thought, you know what, this would make a good book, the sort of a, a fertility process from a man's perspective. Um, At first, nervous about never conceiving or too emotionally invested in it, I thought it was probably just a easy medical problem that could be fixed with a pill, you know, which is, you know, our culture and at this point. Um, so it really wasn't until the IUI started failing that I really became much more disheartened by the whole process and increasingly so. In the midst of this issue, it's very tough to, you know, for someone just to come up and say, hey, you'll be fine, don't worry about it, you know, stay positive. Um, and so that's not exactly what uh, I was going for because I'm certainly very sensitive to the fact that when you're in the middle of this, it sort of just seems very bleak. Um, I guess what I was looking for is sort of just, you know, a bit of, fellow feeling or camaraderie to sort of realize that there are lots of other people out there who are experiencing or have experienced something similar. Um, I mean, when we were going through it, I didn't do any research and it certainly didn't go look to buy any books on the subject. Um, we did have a couple books given to us and obviously they were, you know, female oriented as you would expect. And there were great books, lots of valuable information, but um, I sort of thought there might be a niche um, to write something, you know, short, hopefully entertaining, plenty of information in there, but written for the purposes of sort of um, giving anybody, guy or girl or whomever, sort of the guy's take, or at least my personal take, on everything we had been through.